Welcome back to Let's Talk, and I am your host, Mary Richardson. Today, I have a very special guest in the studio with me on today, and her name is Danielle. Danielle, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very lovely today. Welcome to the show. I am so happy to have Danielle here today, and Danielle is a kingdom specialist yes. that has been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. And the Lord is going to use her today in a very, very unique way. Danielle, yes. you have such a grace on your life for mm -hmm. inner healing and deliverance. Can you tell us today what is the Lord saying in the earth today about inner healing and deliverance? For this dispensation of time that we're in, inner healing and deliverance is very vital. I mean, it's the most beneficial thing that you, a person can have for this day and age. I mean, how in the world do we expect to, he, to build if we're not even healed? There are many hindrances that are affecting our personalities, our career choices, our behavior patterns, because we have not dealt with the traumatic experience. So inner healing and deliverance is very vital. I mean, it's crucial to our ever being. And Danielle, I, know, I noticed that the Lord has really, really used you in a tremendous way yes. concerning inner healing and deliverance. Yes, and it has brought such a revelation, brought such a truth. Mm -hmm. It has brought such a fresh, uh, it, was, it, it has brought such a fresh liberation to yes. the body of Christ. What drew you into this type of ministry? Well, what drew me into this ministry was how effective it was. I mean, from a personal experience, I can't teach or preach or even enlighten anyone about anything that I'm not passionate about or I have not experienced myself. Coming from a home of strife and just many generational curses, I saw how inner healing and deliverance came into my life and how it changed me, how it healed me from, from memories that tainted my personality, that tainted my well-being, that tainted my, my, um, that tainted me from evolving. So when I got that inner healing and deliverance, I just wanted to share it with the world. I mean, it's like getting a precious gift and you want to give it to everyone that you care about. And you're so confident in that product that you want to share it and you want to expose it to anyone that are dealing with any kind of issues in life. Danielle, you sound so excited and seem yes. like you have such an authority. Yes in the area of deliverance and just being free to mm -hmm. be who the Lord has called you to be. Just to be that eagle that you can mm -hmm. now soar, you can go into high places. As a matter of fact, you can be that butterfly, that mm -hmm. you can just go places, you can transform yes. and be that person that the Lord has called you to be. Mm -hmm. Now I know that the Word of God says, um, He brought Israel out in the book of Hosea. He brought Israel out through a prophet and through a prophet He preserved Israel. How vital do you think it is for the prophetic voice to be a voice in this season concerning inner healing and deliverance, unlocking the people of God yes. that they may be able to reach their full potentials? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Apostle. Oh, now you're walking in my territory now. Through a prophet, Israel was brought out, and through a prophet, they were preserved. See, well, many times I see that when I go into ministries and I come with a prophetic word, I come with revival. Revival is nothing but reviving the church. Reviving is something that's laying dormant or something that's dead. So I don't want to go in a ministry and just begin to stir anyone up and leave them there. I don't want to go into dealing with anyone or ministering to someone at a certain level and once again leave them in that stagnant position. I have to cause them to grow. I have to ignite a fire in them. That's where the person, that's where the preserving comes in at. Having the prophetic manner preserves us. It's the prophetic word that allows us continue. It's a continuance. The utterance of the prophetic, it's like a river. It continues to flow. It continues to flow. Uh -huh. And I know that you're a pioneer. Yes. I know that you're a pioneer, and I know that we are trailblazers. Yes, ma'am. And so uh, has, how, how, difficult, how difficult has it been to demonstrate the glory of God through inner healing and deliverance, and where do you see this going for the future? Well, it has been difficult due to, due, due to the old wine skin, due to tradition, due to people not wanting to change. You know, sometimes we're, we, we know that we're saved, but yet we're still humanistic at times. And in order to change, we have to, uh, we have to adjust. And sometimes we don't like the shift. We don't like the adjustment. So therefore, we continue to do the same old things over and over and over again, following the same patterns, but yet and still wanting 
a different result. Danielle, I know that I notice your gift, the administration and the operation of your gift, and that you flow very heavily in the prophetic. Yes. And I know that there was a word that was released on Sunday, yes. further, faster acceleration. What, what's your take on that as far as inner healing and deliverance is concerned? Oh my gosh, I'm hot for God. I mean, I have to stay relevant with my spiritual gifts and my anointing. So further, faster, and acceleration, when you think about accelerating, you're thinking about mashing the gas. You're thinking about getting into the gas of that vehicle to speed up, the, the speed up and keep up with the momentum. Not only to speed up and keep up with the momentum, but you're flowing at a steady place and you're only getting further, faster into your destiny. So the word of God is very crucial. Inner healing and deliverance is very vital because it's gonna cause us to evolve. Everything around the world is evolving. Technology, medicine, why not the word of God? We are supernatural beings. We are renowned. So we shouldn't do the extraordinary. We should be able to drive and demonstrate what Jesus has caused us to drive and demonstrate. So there's no reason as the body of Christ that we should stay stagnant and stay stuck. I'm very passionate about that. I'm serious when it comes to my spiritual inheritance. I'm serious when it comes to the everlasting covenant. And therefore, I have to be a model of that. How can I model it? if I don't know what I'm modeling after. So I have to spend vital time in the Word of God and I have to spend vital study in inner healing and deliverance. Wow, Danielle, you're, on, you're such a firebrand today, plucked out of the fire. I tell you, you're just igniting a fire and I know that the people of God are enjoying uh, this revelation and this present day truth that you are bringing to yes. them for such a time as this. Yes. As a prophet of God, what is the Lord saying to the body of Christ for such a time as this. Um, and I'm so happy you asked me that, Apostle Mary. I'm so glad you asked me that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean a little forward because I want the whole world to hear me when I say this. God is saying in this dispensation, this hour, we have to be like the sons of Issachar. We have to know the timing and the seasons in which we are living in. God said that we should be relevant. Relevant means connecting to the matter at hand. Our anointings have to stay fresh because we're dealing with so many demonic forces at this time that we may have not been dealing with a long time ago. This is a new generation that is coming up and still the old are still here also. But our anointings have to stay relevant. We have to stay up apart so we can be the part. And not only that, he said fervent. Fervent is hot. It's intensive. It's passionate. When we, God say, I was touched by the feelings of their infirmities and I healed because of compassion. If we're not passionate and we're not fervent, then guess what? How in the world can we pull someone out? There's many that are living in the lion's den now. Not just Daniel. They're living in the lion's den today. And us as specialists, we got to go in and, and know how to go in and lock the mouth of that lion and bring the Daniels of this dispensation out. Wow. I am so excited. I tell you, you have caused my baby to leave. Yes. I feel like you have been Elizabeth. I'm sorry. I feel like you have been Mary and I have been Elizabeth. My yes. baby is leaping all over this all over this studio right now today. And I know the people of God out there are being blessed. And so I just encourage you on today to continue to seek the face of God. I encourage you today to continue to seek the voice of God. Continue to seek the Lord for your healing and your deliverance. You have purpose. You have a potential in this earth. You have dreams. You have visions that lives on the inside of you. And the Lord wants to give birth to that in this season. This has been Mary Richardson. Let's talk. I have been your host. I am so happy that you tuned in with us on today on HT, HBTV Life Network. You can also go to our Facebook page and you can blog us. You can follow us on Twitter or you can send us an email at Mary Richardson Let's Talk at gmail.com. God bless you. And until the next time we meet, let's talk. Yeah.